we are at stage 8, paragraph page 612. Okay, and our last head word was Red Cross, New Work type of lesson. Okay, let's start with revision. Ready? Okay. Here we go. If you were the owner of a business and one of your workers stole something from the business, would you give them a second chance or would you dismiss them at once? If you were the owner of a business and one of your workers stole something from the business, would you give them a second chance or would you dismiss them at once? If I were the owner if I were the of, owner a business, of a business and one of my workers of my workers stole something, stole from, the something business, from the business, I'd, I'd dismiss, dismiss them at once. Them at once. Why? Why? Because? Because I can't trust them, them anymore. Anymore. Very good. Okay, the long one. Supposing there was a place, shall we say, somewhere in the middle of a jungle in South America, where you knew for sure that there was about 50 million pounds worth of gold, but the chances of returning alive were only 50-50. Would you go and take a chance and try your luck, or would you just stay at home and dream about it? Supposing there was a place, shall we say, somewhere in the middle of a jungle in South America, where you knew for sure that there was about 50 million pounds worth of gold, but the chances of returning alive were only 50-50. Would you go and take a chance and try your luck, or would you just stay at home and dream about it? Supposing there Supposing was a place, there, are, there was a place, shall we say, shall we say somewhere in the somewhere middle of a jungle, of a jungle in South America, in South America, where I knew for sure, where, where I knew for, for sure that there were, that there were, that there was, that there was about fifty million, about fifty million pounds worth of gold, pounds worth of gold. But the chances, but the chances, the chances of returning alive. Of returning alive. We're only 50 50. We're only 50 50. I'd. I'd. Take my I'd chance. Take my chance. And try my luck. And try my luck. Why? Why? Because. Because. I like adventure. I like adventure. <laughs> Very good. Again, next. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're whistling. You are whistling. Very good. Many years ago, did. Humans have to hunt animals for food. Many years ago, did humans have to hunt animals for food? Yes. yes. Many years ago. Many years ago. Humans. Humans had to hunt animals. Had to hunt animals for food. For food. Very good. Why should we judge a person by his deeds more than by his words? Why should we ju Why should we judge a person by his deeds more than by his words? We should judge a we person, judge a person by, his deeds by his deeds more than by more his than words. By his words, because it's easier. Because it's easier to say things to say things than to do them. Than to do them. Very good. What do we use grease for? What do we use grease for? We use grease. We use grease to make to make the different parts the different parts of a machine. Of a machine. Move smoothly. Move smoothly. Very good. What do we use a pair of scissors for? What do we use a pair of scissors for? We use. We use. A pair of scissors. A pair of scissors. For cutting paper. For cutting paper. Etc. Etc. If you were in a bus going downhill and the driver suddenly lost control of the bus, what did you do? If you were in a bus going downhill and the driver suddenly lost control of the bus, what did you do? If I were, if I were in a bus, in a bus going downhill, going downhill, and the driver, and the driver suddenly lost control, suddenly lost control of the bus, of the bus, I try, I try to take control, to take control of the bus, et over the bus, etc. Very good. What might happen if you didn't pay your electricity bill when it was due? What might happen if you didn't pay your electricity bill when it was due? If I didn't pay, if I didn't pay my electricity bill, my electricity bill when it was due, when it was due, they might come, might come and cut and cut the electricity off, 
the electricity off. Greg, when are you due to come here again? When are you due to come here again? I'm due. I'm due. To come here again. Come here again. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Why don't trains arrive when they are due? Why don't trains always arrive when they are due? Trains, trains don't always arrive. Don't always arrive. When they are due. When they are due. Because of bad weather. Because of bad weather. Breakdowns. Etc. Etc. Very good. When a person is rich, do you think it's due to the fact that they're more intelligent than most other people? Or do you think it's mainly due to luck? When a person is rich, do you think it's due to the fact that they're more intelligent than most other people? Or do you think it's mainly due to luck? When a person, when is, a rich, person is rich, I think, I think it's due to it's the fact, due to the fact that they're more, that they are more intelligent. The most other people. The, the most other people. Very good. Okay. Were your grandmothers both born in the same country as you? Were your grandmothers both born in the same country as you? Yes or no? Yes. My grandmothers. My grandmothers were both born. Were both born in the same country. In the same country as me. As me. What do we call our grandfather's father? What do we call our grandfather's father? We call, we call our we call grandfather's father, our grandfather's father, our great grandfather, our great grandfather. Very good. Are the people in your country mostly tea drinkers or coffee drinkers? Are the people in your country mostly tea drinkers or coffee drinkers? The people in the my people country, in my country, are mostly, are mostly, uh, tea drinkers. drinkers. Very good. Do you think that passing exam is mostly a question of luck? Do you think that passing exams is mostly a question of luck? Yes or no? Yes. I think that. I think that. Passing exams. Passing exams. Is mostly. Is mostly. A question of luck. A question of luck. Very good. Do you think your language is totally different from English? Do you think your language is totally different from English? Yes or no? Yes. I think my language. I think my language is totally different. Is totally different from English. From English. Wait, if a friend of yours who is wearing clothes that look totally wrong on them, do you tell them? If a friend of yours is wearing clothes that look totally wrong on them, do you tell them? Yes or no? Yes. If a friend of if mine, a friend of mine is wearing clothes, is wearing clothes that look totally that look totally wrong on them. No on them. I tell them. I tell them. Reggie, what does the idiom let yourself go mean? What does the idiom let yourself go mean? The idiom, the idiom let yourself. Let yourself go means go means relax. Relax and enjoy yourself. And enjoy yourself. Reggie, give me an example. Give me an example, please. If you relax a little if you relax a little and let yourself go. And let yourself go. You feel happier. You feel happier. Very good. What's the difference between to discuss, to argue, and to quarrel? What's the difference between to discuss, to argue, and to quarrel? The difference between. The difference between. To discuss. To discuss. To argue. To argue. And to quarrel. And to quarrel. Is that to discuss. Is that to discuss. Means to talk. Means to talk. About something. About something in a serious, in a serious or formal manner, or formal manner. Whereas to argue means whereas to argue means to disagree badly, to disagree badly on a subject, on a subject and become angry, and become angry and to quarrel means and to quarrel means to lose control, to lose control of your anger, of your anger and start shouting. And start shouting and saying, and saying unpleasant things, unpleasant to things each other, to each other. Very good. Do you enjoy discussing politics? Do you enjoy discussing politics? Yes or no? Politics. Politics uh, about politics. the government. Yes or no? No. I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy discussing politics. Discussing politics. Why do housemates sometimes argue with one another? Why do housemates sometimes argue with one another? Housemates sometimes. Housemates sometimes argue. 
argue with one another. With one another. Because. Because. Of noise. Of of noise. Cleaning the house. Cleaning the house. Etc. Etc. Greg, did you quarrel a lot with your brother or sister when you were a child? Did you quarrel a lot with your brother or sister when you were a child? Yes or no? Yes. I quarreled a lot. I quarrel. I quarreled a lot with my with my brother when I was a child. When I was a child. Very good. Give me an example of the word argue used with the meaning of to recent. Give me an example of the word argue used with the meaning of to recent, please. She argues. She argues that if we don't. That if we don't go now, go now. It'll be too late. It'll be too late. Very good. What does it mean to live a regular life? What does it mean to live a regular life? To live, to live. a regular life. A regular life means that means that we eat, sleep, we eat, sleep, and work, etc. And work, etc. At more or less. At more less. More or less. More. Or less. The same times. The same times. Every day. Every day. Wait, would you say that a regular life was better than an irregular one? Would you say that a regular life was better than an irregular one? Yes or no? Yes. I say that. I say that. A regular life. A regular life. Was better than. Was better than. An irregular one. An irregular one. Why? Why do you think so? Because. Because it's easier, it's easier to manage. To manage. Wait, can can a dentist do anything about irregular teeth? Can a dentist do anything about irregular teeth? Yes. A dentist can do dentist something. Can do something about irregular teeth. About irregular teeth. Very good. Do you work irregular hours? Do you work irregular hours? Yes or no? Irregular? No. I don't work. I don't work irregular hours. Irregular hours. Wait, why is it important to blow up bridges during a war? Why is it important to blow up bridges during a war? It's important. It's important to blow up bridges. To to blow up bridges during a war. During a war. In order. In order to make it difficult. To make it difficult for the enemy. For the enemy to get across. To get across the river, the river. To do so, to do so, they would either, they would either have to swim, have to swim, cross by boat, cross by boat, or build new bridges, or build, build new, new bridges. Bridges. Very good. What's the difference between dust and powder? What's the difference between dust and powder? The difference between the difference between dust and powder. Dust and powder. Is that dust? Is that dust? Is natural. Is natural. And collects. And collects on objects. On objects. Whereas powder. Whereas powder is something. Is something that is made. That is made. Have you ever collected stamps or anything like that? Have you ever collected stamps or anything like that? Yes or no? Yes. I've collected. Stamps. I've collected stamps or something, or something like that. Like that. On what kind of occasions do people collect together in large numbers? On what kind of occasions do people collect together in large numbers? The kind the of kind occasions of occasions on which on people which collect pe together. People collect together in large numbers. In large numbers are parties. Are parties political meetings. Political meetings, football matches, football matches, etc. etc. Do they collect money in the streets in your country for different causes such as for the Red Cross, the poor, etc. Do they collect money in the streets in your country for different causes such as for the Red Cross, the poor, etc. Yes or no? Oh yes. They collect money. They collect money in the streets. In the streets. In my country. In my country. For different causes. For different causes, such as, such as for the Red Cross, for the Red the Cross, Direct Cross, the poor, the poor, etc., etc. Very good. What do you consider to be a good cause worth collecting money for? What do you consider to be a good cause worth collecting money for? I consider 
I consider charity, charity to be a good cause. To be a good cause. Worth collecting. Worth collecting. Money for. Money for. Very good. And that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay, very good. Okay, repeat. Furniture. Furniture. Furnish. Furnish. Very good. Okay, listen. The word furniture is the noun. Chairs, tables, beds, etc. are furnitures. The word furnish is a verb. It means to provide with a furniture. For example, I like to see a room furnished with chairs, tables, cabinets, etc. Like it's provided with chairs, tables, and cabinets already. Let's practice. What kind of furniture do you like to see a room furnished with? What kind of furniture do you like to see a room furnished with? I like. I like. To see a room. To see a room. Furnished with. Furnished with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What like? Furnish. Furnish. What kind of what kind of appliances do you like to see inside a room? Inside mm -hmm. like beds, tables, tables, beds, cabinets, etc. Cabinet, etc. Et Hi. Yeah. We are very good. Okay. Next. Repeat. Available. Available. We are very good. Okay. Listen. The word available is an adjective. If someone is available, it means that he is free. To do something he's not busy for example i am available on weekends so i can go to the cinema sleep the whole day go shopping etc mm -hmm. if something is available it means that it's possible to get or use for example it usually takes several months for a new film to become available to buy let's practice how long does it usually take for a new film to become available to buy how long does it usually take for a new film to become available to buy? It usually takes. It usually takes. Like one month. Like one month. For a new film. For a new film. To become available. To become available. To buy. To buy. Right. If you rang somebody up when they were at work, but they weren't available immediately, would you wait, leave a message, or call back later? If you rang somebody up when they were at work, but they weren't available immediately, would you wait, leave a message, or call back later? If I rang, if I rang somebody up, somebody up when they were at work, when they were at work, but they weren't, but they weren't available immediately, available immediately, I'd, I'd leave a message. A message. Very good. Next, repeat human being. Human being. being. Very good. Okay. Human the word being. human being is a noun. It means a person. For example, I think that human beings sometimes behave worse than animals. Hmm. Let's practice. Do you think that human beings sometimes behave worse than animals? Do you think that human beings sometimes behave worse than animals? Yes or no? <laughs> Yes. I think that. I think that human beings, human beings, sometimes behave. Sometimes behave worse than animals. Worse than animals. Very good. Next, repeat. Artificial. <laughs> artificial. Very good. One artificial. More. Artificial. Artificial. Very good. Okay. Listen. When we say artificial, it's an adjective. If something is artificial, it means that it is not natural or real. It is made, uh -huh. produced, or done to seem like something natural. For example, science can provide us with artificial arms, like fake arms, teeth, hair, etc. Okay, let's practice. What artificial parts of the body can science provide us with? What artificial parts of the body can science provide us with? Science. Science. And provide us. Can provide with us. artificial arms, with uh, artificial arms, legs, legs, teeth, teeth, hair, hair, etc., etc. Very good. Okay, next. Let's talk about plural of nouns and third person singular of a verb. Okay, so plural of nouns and the third person. Third person is the person we're talking about. Okay, repeat. Kiss. Kiss. Rush. Rush. Hero. Hero. 
Very good. Okay, listen. Generally speaking, when a word ends in the letters O, S, X, C, C, H, or S, H, we form its plural if it's a noun and it's a third person singular of the present simple tense. If it is a verb, by adding the letters E, S to it. For example, we say one potato, two potatoes. I go, you go, he goes. The word piano is an exception. We say one piano, two pianos. We don't put ES. We just add S. The word kiss is the verb. For example, before going to work, I sometimes kiss my mother. Kiss my mother. The word rush can be a noun and a verb. As a noun, it means quick, strong, fast movement. As a verb, it means to move fast. For example, rush hour. By the rush hour, we mean the time when everybody rushes to work or home from work. The word hero is a noun. It is someone that you respect or look up to. It could be a famous person, your father, your mother, etc. Okay. So, let's practice. When do we use the letters ES to form the plural of a noun and the third person singular of a verb? When do we use... Uh, when do we add the letters ES to form the plural of a noun and the third person singular of a verb? We add the we letters add ES. The letters ES. To form the plural. To form the plural. Of a noun. Of a noun. And the third person singular. In the third person singular. singular of a verb. Of a verb. When the word ends. When the word ends. In the letters O. In the letters O, S, X, S, Z, X, T, Z, 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 C, H, T, H, C, like, like, C, H, C, H, or S, H, or S, H. Very good. Okay, now let's move on to reading. Okay. Okay, so our reading is at stage 7, paragraph page 525. 25. Five, two, five, and the last head word was matter. Okay, so I'll start with the first question. Oh, second question. What kind of food? Okay, what kind of food ought we to eat? 